I had to dig up these plans to remember how to make one of these scythe hooks. I needed my measurements. How crazy is that? It's been so long. This is what, project two? Man, I forgot even. All right, we better get on with it. Hello, welcome back to Dark and Ember Forge. My name is Owen. Today we are going to test out these tools that we hardened and tempered and see how well the temper took by finishing up project two, maybe? I don't even remember. Anyway, I'm gonna make scythe hook and use that to test these. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go fire up the forge and I will see you at the end. I would like to point out that the piece I'm working with was a little twisted already. I don't think my hammer blows are helping it. Other than being slightly twisted, the end is about where I want it. Now I just need to draw it out, oh, you know, a few more inches. to grab this out of the heat and bring it up here. separate heat to uh, clean up. Boy, this thing is all twisted and turned and cockeyed around. That might be a little too squirrely, but... We'll see. I'm going to try to smooth it from this mark here on down. I think by the time I get this chunk down, where it needs to be, it'll stretch it out the length I want it. I add an extra mark here so I can test and see. And it's actually not all that far off size-wise. Hmm. Nah, maybe I'll need to uh, go up a little further. How the heck do I use these bite that I have? Because I don't use them very often if I can help it. Ha ha! Victory! Okay. Okay, so the top part is to the width I want. But I want to thin out that taper a little bit. Can I hold it from here too? Okay. 
the flail sea if you want some time. Yeah. Well, wolf jaws showing how they're not as good as, you know, specialist tongs. If these were flat tongs, they would have an easier time gripping it because they wouldn't have that hole in the middle. If they were slot tongs, I could grip it from the other side, or tong tongs. Tong? Tang tongs. Tong tongs, oh boy. Still a prettier uh, scroll than the previous one. Admittedly, that isn't saying much. The other one was, after all, the very first scroll I ever attempted. Still not a good one. I definitely need more practice with these. Okay, so that side is now the bottom. This is scary. I'm just picturing that I screwed up the temper on this and my chisel tip is just going to roll over. Oh man, I'm terrified right now. <laughs> Before you touch it, cool it off. Huh. Okay, for as aggressively sharp as I made it, Way too sharp for a standard, uh, you know, metal chisel. That doesn't seem... Well, it is probably a little too soft, but not by enough that I think it'll matter. Hopefully, question mark. will make a mark I will be able to find. Those are doing me more harm than good right now. Oh crap. Back up here. get a little closer, hopefully. I'm so scared of chopping my anvil with the chisel. A little more on this side. Okay. That looks like I can break it off. Chisel is holding up. 
very exciting. Now if I had two, I'm just going to call them uh, files for some reason, two sets of tongs that could hold this easily, I could just grab it and sort of uh, break it off. I don't, so I will uh, cap it off. And gather you and into the water. To a point, sit you on a brick. All right, butter off. Okay. Sweet. All right, and I'll clean that little chunk up in the next heat a little bit. But before then, let's see here. I do kind of need this here a little bit. So I, yeah. That's not my center punch anyway. I can see where it is anyhow. Hopefully. Oh, you little prick. Okay, that's a much better one. There we go. Alright. You can go away. Center punch can go back where it belongs. big round punch here. I'm basically going to make a countersink for the screw. Ideally. Okay, how did you behave? Obviously I can, well, I shouldn't say obviously. It's a round thing, so it doesn't have a sharp end to degrade. But I cannot tell, other than like the clean spot where it bit into it, where it hit. Ah, oh, well, for my purpose, I made it a little too sharp, though this will hold it a lot better than the other one. All right. Progress. This one is the really scary part, as this punch is too sharp for its own good. And I'm very scared that I'm going to immediately pierce through it, hit the anvil, and uh, dull up my punch and chip my anvil. Okay. So far, so good. percent sure. <laughs> yeah. Not that color I'm seeing. Other than the color has completely gone out of this. Hmm. Dare I punch it while it's cooler? Cooler relatively speaking. It did a thing. Ooh. It did a thing. It mushed the end of my punch. <laughs> okay. Well, the, uh, the tempering on that didn't seem to go very well. All right. Sad days. Womp womp. It was hard enough. I skated a file on it to begin with. No, the file's still trying to skate. I 
so confused. I think because it's so dang small, it just heats up way too fast. too much. So here I was hoping that this would be a much quicker project than the last one and I could show off my improved skills. <laughs> needs 
be a little warmer to drift it open a bit. Now it's biting. be a little bigger than I strictly need it. Well, test screw goes through it just fine. Okay. Now to punch and drift the other hole. Tired of fighting with this. Yeah, that's one way to get it off. <laughs> Hello, Rock. What are you doing other than getting in the way? Worse than the damn dog. slug dangling off the end. All right, that was not entirely what we wanted, but uh, it is cool to be able to see it. Don't use the freaking. Sometimes I wonder what my brain is doing. Sometimes I wonder if it's doing anything. <laughs> slug earlier did not actually pop out it just sort of flattened against the wall Kinda interesting I'll have to grab one of my little files and knock that out but for now before I try to uh, bend this the way I want it I'm going to 
see if I heat it up and use the ball punch if I can make a bit bigger divot there. get a screw through yep even with the uh, biscuit in there yep cool let's grab my other test screw and that's big enough to catch most of the head that's a rock all right uh, with that done time to start uh, getting to the bending part of it happy days remembered how big of a pain in the butt this thing was to straighten out. Okay, let's get this back in the heat. Oh, except, you know what you did there? You forgot the math, you dingus. Okay. Quick, 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 before it cools too much. Straight again. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. That has always been like that. Do -do 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 -do. this uh, old blunt boy here and give that a little bit of a boop. Yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> it will give me a target anyway. to round this end off just a touch. Kind of like that, except without dropping it and actually accomplishing something. So we'll get that a shot. Not seeing any warnings for heat. Yay. Well, that was quite the scene change. My camera overheated and died again. So you didn't miss much though. I'd pretty much finished shaping everything. I just took the took the hook over to the vise and gave it a little bit of tweaking to straighten it out a bit. Not all that much. I heated it back up a touch, applied some oil to it, and we're pretty much ready to go. But I figured to finish this off uh, as we did with the first one, might as well mount it and hang a scythe up. So. We'll get a better angle there. I gave it the nail pilot hole to get a good start there. And 
I guess I can. All right, without further ado, let's get that scythe off the ground. And hang them up. So now we have a little nested collection of sides. Oh. <laughs> of course, it would not be as simple and easy as I could hope. I did not think about that when I was doing the measurements on everything. Yet this site doesn't have the same width to it as the top site, so it doesn't sit as well and kind of rolls it out. It's still out of the way of the door, so I'll count that as a win. It's probably going to bug me. I'm sure I'm going to end up tweaking it. But honestly, right now, it sure feels good to have that done. Have them up off the floor and a project finish after waiting so long. I think we're going to leave it off there. So It was uh, another bit of a video today trying to get this camera figured out, but we'll get there. We keep making these little bitty changes and this little bit of progression. You know, if it's just, you know, one degree a day, I'll have turned around a little after a year. So, so please like if you like, don't if you didn't, and let me know. Are you as glad to see this done with as I am? And as always, have a wonderful day.